All right, what's up, everybody? We are on season four, episode 11 of Attack on Titan called Deceiver. A very interesting title, and I will obviously be getting into that momentarily. But there's one thing I should really get out of the way first, which is that as I'm recording this, it's basically the first time since uh, the second half of <laughs> season four, which people initially figured it was the second half, right? Uh, it has wrapped up. And I've gotten the word from people in my Discord server, you know, all the patrons in there and stuff that like, yeah, this uh, indeed wasn't the end as people had basically already figured. And um, yeah, initially there was that kind of speculation, right? Like, is there going to be a movie then or something like that? But no, it turns out apparently there is just going to be a third part, I've been told. So this season will actually be split into three parts and there's still quite a bit to go then, I guess. Although... Yeah, I don't know. I think people did say that, like, there's not that much necessarily left of the story, but it could be, like, maybe the shortest part of the season then. Um, however, yeah, they're gonna do probably, like, you know, eight episodes or so or whatever, still coming up in 2023, I think. So, um, yeah, again, like, I don't know really how to feel about that. On one hand, of course, you could say that I've been... Again, I've been kind of on this journey now for so many months, and it's gonna be kind of weird to conclude it at a what I presume is going to be some type of cliffhanger, um, you know, ending, right? But I don't know. At the same time, again, I like the fact that I still get to be sort of part of the hype train then for a while. And I get to actually, uh, you know, still like talk about this show with people as it's going on. And like, you know, as people are still that excited about it. It's always like when you watch something that's that has concluded, you're not going to find that many people still eager to talk about it and stuff, right? Whereas like, I feel like, Again, we're still going to have this whole year of waiting now in between. And um, it's just going to be awesome for me kind of getting to uh, be all clued in on, on so many things that I probably still don't know about right now. And that I try to avoid still for, you know, uh, obviously trying not to get myself spoiled in some type of ways, right? It's like... Um, yeah, all this time I've been going at it completely blind and, uh, you know, even now I have this like Discord server with a lot of people in there discussing the show and stuff, but I don't get to check out that channel where they're actually doing that because obviously like I can't. <laughs> I have to just, uh, yeah, stick to uh, actually watching the show here at my own pace and um, yeah, you know, trying to figure things out episode by episode, right? So I don't know. I'm excited about that. At the same time, of course, it does mean I think from what I looked up actually in terms of like how these seasons would usually be released um usually there's around like a year in between or something right and i think again they did announce 2023 but yeah i mean that could probably get started like early in 2023 and then it's not even going to be that long of a wait like eight nine months maybe or something like that if that's the case of course i'm just guessing right now i'm basing that off the fact that again people said that the um the last part of the season that might not be as long as um the first two parts here have been. I think the first part, again, is 16 episodes. The second one is 12. And so then the third maybe might be even shorter than that, right? So who knows? But uh, yeah, nonetheless, I'm just super excited about that prospect. I've even been kind of thinking, and I've, you know, it's, it's an idea that I've thrown out there. And I'm just doing that already right now to kind of plan ahead and stuff, right? For like, okay, what's the future of the channel going to look like and stuff? But I really have been sort of thinking about like, would it be worth it actually doing a rewatch reaction series for the show as well because again people keep talking about like oh all these hints that you kind of miss out on the first time around especially in the early seasons and stuff right and i really would love to kind of go back and see kind of like at, you know the, the sort of lens you're going to be looking through as you're now watching the very beginning of the show again and stuff you know what i mean it's like i don't know it's something that i've been considering of course i do want to make sure that i also have original content and that we're going to do different shows as well because people have been recommending so many things to me but maybe again like this is just something i'm throwing out there and i want to know your thoughts about it do you think that's something that would be worth it or not um yeah maybe i mean maybe we can literally do both i can just actually like do some rewatch reactions as well as start a new show or something after Attack on Titan is uh, wrapped up for now, right? But nonetheless, very excited, of course, to, um, yeah, I mean, to, to first of all, finish up uh, the last 18 episodes or so that are left here. Uh, yeah, and then jumping with you all on that hype train and getting ready for, uh, you know, what is obviously coming next year then. So... Uh, that being said, we should probably get into the episode at hand here, which, like I said, was called Deceiver, and I'm not sure who the Deceiver is, obviously. That's kind of what I've been trying to figure out as soon as I read the title here. First thing that it made me think of is that we saw that there was that scene with some of those Marlian people who were, like, 
preparing food for some of the, um, uh, uh, you know, like the, the military people or whatever, right? And like they were talking about this. There was something fishy with that wine bottle or something, which made me think that they were trying to poison them or something like that, right? Um, but again, I don't really know what that's about and if that could be what the, um, the title here is implying. You know, that being said, the last couple of episodes have been kind of catching us up on a bunch of things, right? We basically got to fill in the gaps in the timeline of the last um, three years or so. And basically everything that happened starting from where season three had left us off at the very end and then obviously where season four began there was this huge gap in between right where we basically hadn't figured out figured out like okay what what have all these people in the survey corps been up to and what were their plans and this and that right and it's still pretty vague obviously right now the big sort of um the big question is like, what is Aaron up to? What is his actual plan, right? And I still don't really know what it is and how to feel about it. And it's the same situation that his friends are basically in where, again, you know, they talked about that awesome sort of flashback scene where Aaron was so, you know, trying to show, I guess, how he cared for them. And like, you know, he talked about, oh, I want you guys to live long lives. And then we're seeing now the implications of his actions as of recently uh, in the current, you know, in the present timeline. It's like he literally just got Sasha killed. And they're basically figuring that, like, you know, can we still trust him, right? And I, I don't know about that because I still don't really know where his allegiances lie or what, uh, what his plan is and, you know, who is willing to sacrifice for it and, you know, what the deal is with Zeke, obviously. It's all, like, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like I definitely did understand everything that the previous episodes tried to kind of um, convey, but then... Yeah, at the same time, I'm like, okay, but I don't know what to do with all that information yet, right? There's that same thing, obviously, with um, Mikasa and uh, the, the Hizuru uh, clan, or I don't know how to, how to call it, a, a nation or whatever it is, right? But, like, um, yeah, they kind of ex explained there suddenly how, like, okay, um, Mikasa is actually kind of like a descendant of a very important Hizuru figure or something, right? And this, this is why this country... Um, you know, they, they came over for, for a short while and stuff and they were trying to establish some sort of friendly connections there. Although that's the thing as well, like it's very clear how basically the whole world does see the people on Paradise Island uh, kind of as like their enemies nonetheless, right? But like this Hizuru nation stands out and that they are willing to sort of negotiate and to, um, uh, yeah, be, be more on, on friendly terms, I guess. But it's, it's weird because, you know, again, I, I wonder where they're, they're trying to go with that. Like, what clearly this is going to be important to Mikasa's overall storyline, but in what way is what I'm still trying to figure out right now, right? And again, like, I kind of asked myself those questions of like, okay, that tattoo that she had on her uh, 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 wrist, was that always there? And people actually told me about that as well, that like, <clears throat> because I had figured that like, oh, this is, I mean, this should have been something that they should have teased then in the beginning, right? Because this show is literally written in a way where everything still happening right now makes sense with what we saw early on. But I couldn't remember actually seeing that. And then apparently it turned out that like in the manga, that was actually, you did actually get to see that. But then in the show, they had sort of left that out or they had um, changed it around where she was like showing an ornament or something that had the symbol on it back in the way back in the like episode six um first you know kind of flashback episode with mikasa and her parents and stuff right i love that episode by the way i still remember that one quite vividly but um yeah and that had to do something with like that uh, uh, in japan maybe they don't like showing uh, uh tattoos or whatever uh you know on, on 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 television or something like that that that's what i heard but again i'm like <laughs> not trying to look too much into it but apparently it was basically there in a the manga and then in the tv show it should have been there but they decided to do it in some type of different way which made it a little bit weird now but um whatever we can look past that right yeah nonetheless uh very excited to just dive into this new episode and that's what we should probably do right now of course do let me quickly point out that the next eight episodes will already be up uh, over on patreon of course which is linked on top of the description over there we're going to be at uh, episode 19 already so quite well on the way with the second uh part i should say now <laughs> obviously with the information that we have of the third part still coming out but next eight episodes are up there for you to check out linked on top of the description of course along with full-length reactions and uh, ovas but for now let's dive into this new episode of attack on titan Oh. Are they keeping... I mean, they're keeping her captive, right? Okay, but that's not even it. What is happening to her, then? 
I thought they were torturing her at first, but... Oh, she's literally just... Ah, maybe she is the deceiver then. Holy shit, she just had a brick in there. Wow, so... They actually made it out. She is completely going on her own, I see. Okay, here's a character I didn't think we'd be seeing for a while. Huh, I wonder if he actually... Like, in some way, actually can see what's happening with them then, or if it was just like a... I assume it wasn't just a bad dream, like, what we saw was actually what happened. But did he, he see the same thing, you know? Wait, don't tell me they're gonna end up in the same forest where they held Zeke captive or something. Okay. She just turned into Erwin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what she figures. She's just proud of her heritage and like... Standing on the good side of the audience. In her perspective, of course. Oh no, okay, he figures, yep, she's just gonna kill this witness. Who is this though? あの馬は逃走に使える。それに私は悪魔と一緒に食事なんてできない。<laughs> Southern Malian accent? So they're not from here? Wait, is this like... Sasha's family or something, or what? <laughs> oh my god, it, but she, she literally fucking killed Sasha. Yeah, I mean, we saw, I remember we saw the, the mom character and me being confused about it as well. Because I hadn't seen her back in season 2. But okay... I never realized she had such a big family then apparently. I like how this guy grew his hair out. Flying boat? なさせていただきます。なはずさ。説明してくれ。志願しなくたら全然。あ、ですか。<笑> I guess this kind of pig is back to our Hanji. Kind of didn't know what to do anymore either, right? And she talked about like, oh, oh and I wish you hadn't made me the new commander or something. Yeah, she's under a lot of stress too. Flock? 
エレンを解放すべきだからです。彼は何も間違いなく。いや、We did kind of see that he was on his page, so to say. そのジナラシが期待通りに機能して、我々を救う保証は何もないんだよ。言ってしまえば、人から聞いた話に過ぎない。形はどうであれ、私はジークの作戦を完遂するとの決断を下した。すべては私の責任だ。だからこれ以上勝手なマネは許さない。Oh, shit. 君たちはエレンの情報を外に漏らした罪で裁かれる。Oh, well. 歴史は人類の勝利のためなら本望です。Surely he might have figured out in advance, though, right? こういう役なら多分順番がある。役を終わりでも誰かがすぐに代わりを演じ始める。Man, I feel kind of bad for Hanji though. She's clearly under a lot of stress. Mada Shirabel Kotoga. Ah, demo, Heki Hama, Koka, stay my say. Shorty got Chosa Heda, no Moktekinara, Kisoko, Mamoru Kotova, Kanarazimo, Zeta, you work at the Varima say, you know. Yamena Sire, he said. Kaki, but nobody to get a car. But she was not an inocho, Scovareta, no Hikara. 巨人を人の力でねじ伏せたあなたを見て分かったのです。私たちは理不尽な暴力と戦って。Damn, was this back in like season one? I think this was when Aaron showed up as a titan for the first time, wasn't it? あなたに近づきたくて、ミカサさんが調査兵団に入った理由は何ですか？イエガーさんのためなら彼の自由を。私から言えることは一つ。口を閉じてなさい。She's kind of seeing how her actions there. Inspired this person again, but she, yeah. Oh shit. Why are we seeing this now again? Okay. Man, this, this episode, honestly, it's so much again, dude. <laughs> もたけなとなったあたりで、君を近くの宿泊地まで送った彼じゃが、現在情報漏洩罪で交流されておる。また、この宿泊地はエレン・イエーガーの住みかと数十キロの位置にあった。何にせよ、秘書と会話できる口実ができて、何よりじゃ。<笑>っていうか何ミヤってなんであんたの妹なのどっちでもいいだろう二人ともお昼にしようしかしカヤさんもですけどここで働いている人はみんな若いんですねうんここにいる人は孤児だからねああ、それで取り付けてんあいつが言うのは子供には支援があるから罪を受け入れてないようですね罪を受け入れてないようですねこの島の民が世界に対して残虐非道の限りを尽くした歴史をお忘れですかエルディア人一人一人が罪の自覚を正しく持つことでようやく食材への道が開かれるのですよマーレではそう教えられてるのるで何言ってんだよこれは普遍的な歴史の話だから、ま、今なんて言いました<笑> She can tell <笑> Yeah, I mean in all fairness Gabby clearly couldn't resist to reveal it anyway. Yeah, okay, but they could figure immediately already. Oh my god. You're not gonna let this happen, Falco, right? Ah, not much. She's just trying to kill her. <laughs> 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 Damn, 
Yeah, this this whole experience is just gonna get Gabby to look at things slightly differently, I would assume. Oh, right. This is what we saw in the Sasha episode, right? Was this the kid she rescued? Oh my god, this is such a long time ago, but... Now it all makes sense. お母さんは一体何をしたの何をしたからこんなに恨まれているの何千年も世界中の人々を虐殺したからでしょ何千年百年前ってじゃあ今生きている私たちは何千年百年前ってじゃあ今生きている私たちは何千年百年前ってじ
it's literally just because it it feels like it really pays off your um again just all this time that you've spent with this show and that you've tried to go over everything that's been going on and stuff and it made me once again sort of resurface certain questions i mean dude we're on episode 70 and i right now find myself literally thinking back to season the beginning of season two which by now is like 40 episodes ago and like wait why did things happen a certain way and stuff right it's like because i suddenly remembered what actually happened back in that beginning of season two where it was like um a new attack basically was taking place right that's literally how the first episode began i think where sniffing guy got killed i remember and for a long time they couldn't figure out um, how Titans actually made it through here because they couldn't find the, uh, any hole in the wall or something and stuff, right? And I'm actually thinking about that right now and like, wait, did we ever actually get an answer to that question? Like, so how in that case um, did they get these Titans attacking them and stuff, right? I mean, we know that back in Connie's village... Uh, there were some of those people, st or, you know, Connie's mom was there still left behind and she was a titan and stuff. But now I figure like, wait, but how actually did she turn into one? That only could have happened if she got injected by something, right? So so what? Did like Zeke, I mean, again, like we know that Zeke as the beast titan, of course, he showed up, you know, at the beginning of season two. But like, did they sort of like inject a bunch of people there in the city i'm starting to like i'd never actually gone back to ask myself questions about uh what actually happened back then and now suddenly i find myself doing that right and it's like man again i can't praise that about this show enough and i don't know if this is something that that's the other thing about it and i'm just being completely honest about it right as much as i hate not being in control of this whole thing and like uh <laughs> you know i'm the kind of guy i want to think everything through and like I feel stupid if there's something we have gotten an answer to already in the past and I can't recall it or something because I always try to keep overview of everything. But like, again, with a show of this length, 70 episodes in right now, it's impossible to... And I've only seen it once. Again, I just move on from, from episode to episode. It's like, it's impossible literally to just like um, remember everything that happened, right? But uh, yeah, like, did we ever actually get answers to that question? I don't think so. So, so now you know, Falco was talking about here how it was basically like a second attack or something, or what did he say? Uh, I guess sort of similar in the in the vein of like the first one where they talked about, oh, that first attack with Ryan, uh, Reiner and Berthold, you know, that the show started with was sort of just kind of to see how the king would uh, react and stuff, right? Um, yeah, but then at the same time, I guess they couldn't have figured in advance that Grisha was stealing the powers. <laughs> like literally at that moment or something, right? <laughs> it's like, I'm sure actually, I wonder now if this is kind of what it's all leading up to. If these are the questions that I'm bringing up right now, and I am correct in like assuming that we actually never got these answers and stuff, if this is kind of what we're leading up to and we're finally going to learn sort of like how it all plays in with the very beginning of the show. It is so, honestly, it is so amazing to me to like see how, uh, yeah, these gaps still in the in the first season and in the you know the beginning of the second season are now finally sort of like we're learning more and more we're seeing Sasha's family here and stuff again right and and yeah for a while there I didn't realize that like oh this is the girl wait there was that girl that she rescued in the first episode of the second I remember that and now we're finally get like getting back to that it's like it's I again you get what I'm trying to do here right but like <laughs> I can't praise that enough about this show. But that's the thing with this episode, once again, with so many scenes taking place. I literally find myself here, like, reading through a whole summary uh, after I finished the episode, just to make sure that, like, I got everything. But I think I, I pretty much did. But again, it was just like, it's so much happening at once. And I asked myself the question, for all these individual scenes, what's the purpose of them? And what is it trying to allude to and stuff, right? Um clearly the big sort of like the the real big question is still like okay what's yeah again i mean they're, they're really not they're just not getting into this but like what is zeke's plan and what is aaron's plan are they the same are they not um why are they doing what they are doing right and like we're, we're literally not even really exploring them we didn't see them in this episode actually we just heard characters talk about them and it's just to literally convey that to us like yeah what is actually going on right at the same time of course we have the the little uh or you know the the, the main storyline for this episode clearly was centered around falco and gabby where yeah i mean gabby still she's kind of uh 
she's in sort of a rude awakening, I feel, where she is still very much sort of treating everything through a very narrow lens of like, you know, how in the beginning she talks about like, okay, I'm the good kind of Eldian, you know what I mean? Like, I'm wearing my arm and I don't give a crap because I want to make sure that it's, uh, that I, <laughs> you know, I don't care. Like, I just want to see myself as like, oh, I'm the good Eldian here and I'm not like all these other devils on the island and stuff, right? But obviously, and she's asking that question there, uh, or it was, uh, uh, I think she was called Kaya. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that, that might be wrong, but I think that was a, what, what her uh, name was. But like, she's asking, well, why did my mom have to die? And stuff that didn't have anything to do with my history and stuff i couldn't i couldn't uh i didn't deserve that 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 wasn't something that um yeah like again and, she, and gabby she literally can't answer that question right uh and it's like I, again i feel like the, this character gabby right now is going through a very similar experience and of course the family she's dealing with right now is literally the family wh who's um yeah, I mean, she was the one who murdered uh, Sasha there as well. And uh, I don't think she even figured that out yet in this episode, right? That, like, this is actually the family of who she uh, murdered. But, yeah, it's, it's like, that's, I mean, she's probably going to find that out then as well in, like, a next episode. Um, and that's going to bring everything full circle there and, and really make a change of mind or something, I guess. But, like... The question then is, once again, well, how is she going to feel about all of it, right? At the same time, I completely get how, of course, her main source of anger at the moment is Zeke. Because, and the same goes for all the other people still back in Marley, who we saw in the intro, or oh, sorry, in the outro tease here. Like, they just figured as well that, like, oh, Zeke betrayed them. I still don't know if that's the way you can look at it. I don't think Zeke betrayed them. I don't think Aaron betrayed his people either. I feel like what this is really about is sort of them collaborating to figure out a solution to save the Eldians in general, literally all of them, and probably fuck over the rest of the world or something. That's what I assume it's kind of uh, leading to, but I could be entirely wrong once again. Um, but yeah, the parallels, once again, the parallels are something I've been talking about now for the entire season already, and it started off with Aaron and, and, and Reiner, and now we're kind of seeing it with other characters once again as well we're seeing how like Aaron and Zeke are sort of doing similar th things and the people of their um groups so Paradise Island and uh, uh Eldians on uh on Marley are kind of both seeing them now as sort of uh deceiving them and stuff right this episode was called Deceiver and yeah there were clearly like there was a lot of deception going on and a lot of people who couldn't trust others and stuff and it's like but it, again like at the same time you have these little scenes thrown in there where there's Mikasa talking to one of the uh, kids or whatever that, that they now are holding a uh, prisoner because she kind of sided with uh, Aaron I think right she was part of that group along with Flock who basically spread word to like regular people and uh, kind of want to get Aaron freed or something right but like they're having that conversation and she does this one, <laughs> one move and Mikasa is thinking back to flashback scenes back in season one and it's just honestly it's too much to handle at times I'm just gonna be completely honest about that right like it's too much to handle it's too much to just like process watching it through once um so yeah you know I apologize if sometimes once again I uh can get a little bit lost or you know maybe I'm, I'm still sort of i'm literally seeing it in my reaction sometimes that like <laughs> i'm still processing what just happened and not paying attention anymore to a current scene and it's because of this phenomenon that the show constantly does where it just throws so much information at you and of course that combined with the fact that you have a camera pointed at you and that you're you know you're realizing very well that everybody's looking and you're supposed to react it's like that makes it super complicated with this show. And especially in an episode like this, which I would say is like by far easily the most... Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like it had necessarily that many major events taking place, but it had a lot of information thrown at you that went very, very fast. And so uh, I think that's, again, like... I can at the same time very much appreciate it because, again, I love that about this show. I love how everything... You know, this is a show that you'll want to analyze and you'll want to think it through. Um, but yeah, obviously for a first time reaction, it doesn't always give you the most time to do that. So, you know, this is basically where I'm currently at. But for now, I'm very excited to uh, figure out where things are going to go from here. Yeah, and if Reiner and the other um, Marlians or, you know, Eldian Marlians, whatever, are, are going to come back to, uh, yeah, to, <laughs> to, if we're going to sort of see a repeat, then suddenly of like... Uh, 
episode one where suddenly we find all these titans attacking them and stuff and they won't see it coming or maybe they will maybe zeke that's that's the weird chess game being played right they think that zeke figured that uh that they would sort of wait to recover and have the whole world attack them now they're probably choosing not to do that and they're just going to go for the for the charge uh, uh immediately but maybe zeke did did figure that that's what we don't know and it's like yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm just super excited to see um, how everything is going to end up. But with that being said, yeah, I'm actually going to get into the next episode here myself. And uh, after everything that happened just now, that's <laughs> it's quite a task. But uh, that being said, I want to thank you, all, of course, for tuning in. The next eight episodes are already up over on Patreon, which is linked on top of the description. So over there, you can already watch up until episode 19 right now. Make sure you go do that, of course. Your support is very much appreciated. Uh, over there, you also get full-length reactions and OVAs, of course. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.